Welcome to How That Gonna Be, the series where we look at games so you don't have to, and today we're looking at John Wick Hex. Brought to you by Bethel Games on the 8th of October 2019, John Wick Hex interested me as the idea of a video game being able to capture the feel of the movies. Well, <laughs> that would be awesome, but I do have my reservations about whether a strategy game can actually do that. So, can it? <laughs> well, join me as we review this game and let's find out together. John Wick Hex is a prequel to the movies, following John as he attempts to rescue Winston and Sharon from their kidnapper, the aptly named Hex. Told from the perspective of Hex, Sharon, and Winston, the gameplay is a flashback recounting John's journey to rescue them up until that point. The cutscenes are presented in a noir comic panel style, and while I found these cutscenes to be okay in terms of their concept, they were very laggy, with frames tanking as each scene transitioned, and sadly, this was only the beginning of the problems I had with this game's presentation. When picking up this game, I hated the visuals. I can't stress that enough. But the more I played the game, it, it kind of grew on me, honestly. After a couple of hours, I really didn't care anymore about how jarring and weird it can be and I found it to be quite enjoyable. It seems to be a sticking point for a lot of the reviews I've seen that it doesn't look good, but I'd honestly say that it's actually pretty decent, with only the cutscenes looking kind of terrible due to their laggy nature and having the camera so close to the player models. You kind of notice the lack of detail and how crude and rough around the edges they can be. The camera, however, sucks. During the actual gameplay, it's super finicky, sometimes it's too sensitive, and other times it feels like the controls don't work at all. It makes manipulating your view to get a good angle a real pain, and it hinders the flow of gameplay drastically. The replay system after you beat a level also suffers from camera-related issues. The camera in this replay system is dependent on your actions, which makes it super disorientating and hard to follow. This is further ruined by the rather stilted and janky-looking animations. Whilst they're fine for a strategy game, you're not really expecting the most slick uh, animations in a world whilst playing. When you're watching a real-time replay of what you're doing, having those really basic kind of robotic animations, it it doesn't look good. The music is pretty great though, with composer Austin Wintory capturing enough of the movies to be familiar, but adding some of his own flair to the soundtrack that fits the nature of this game's pace much more effectively. Overall, this isn't the most stylish game you'll ever play, but what this game does have going for it in true wiki and fashion is substance. I think many people came into this video game with the wrong mindset, and that's myself included. See, John Wick Hex doesn't provide you with the spectacle of the movies. No, I'd argue it actually does one better. It provides you with the psychology of John Wick himself. There are four main elements to John Wick Hex that you need to know. Those being your ammo, health, focus, and the timeline. Managing these resources is where the challenge of John Wick Hex comes into play, and it's where the game truly shines. Hex is a game about time, with the timeline dictating everything. Every action has an allocated time frame, with intros before the action commences, meaning you need to really pay attention before confirming your next move. Playing this game according to the timeline is the way to succeed, but it isn't so easy. You can easily slip up, lose your concentration, or even forget the timeline, with the game punishing you accordingly. Hex is a difficult game, and this comes down to a mix of the time management and the mortality of Wick himself. You have limited health and bandages in Hex, meaning you have to really approach each stage with the brutal efficiency of the man himself. Your health, bandages, ammo, and focus all carry over between levels too, meaning any mistakes can be costly come the next fight. The only downside to this game in terms of its gameplay is the boss fights, which feel a little lackluster in comparison to everything else. Having to drain their focus before dealing any damage to them, boss fights are often a slug kind of affair, with the player either spamming gun throws to make them vulnerable, or spam takedowns while getting up close and personal. The idea makes sense on paper, with hand-to-hand -hand fights being a staple of Wick when it comes to the more important characters, but it really doesn't translate well to this kind of game. John Wick Hex 
Max is a great strategy game that provides a good balance between insane difficulty and satisfying gameplay. And while it's not the prettiest to look at initially, you'll soon forget about all of that when you're beating your way through enemies in neon noir levels. When it comes to recommending a game like John Wick Hex, I think it's really coming down to your personal taste more than the quality of the game itself. This game was made for someone like me, I'm a fan of the John Wick movies, very much so, and I'm also a big fan of games like XCOM. But if that isn't really your cup of tea, this game probably isn't going to be for you. The best suggestion I can really make is for you to take a look at this game and really think about whether this would be the kind of game that you would play normally or you would enjoy normally. If it's not, this game's definitely not going to be up your alley, and I wouldn't recommend it at all. But if it is the kind of game that you would probably enjoy, you're at least going to get a kick out of it, because it's genuinely good at what it does. Thanks for watching this review on John Wick Hex. Press that thumbs up button if you enjoyed what you saw. Also press that subscribe button and bell to keep up to date with all future Vivid Chim content. Also leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me your favorite John Wick kill from the movies or just tell me what you thought about this game if you've played it or From what you've seen what what are your opinions and impressions leaving this video? Also whilst you're here, why not check out the revamped vivid Shim patreon page in the description below uh, We're doing some things there one of the things is the early access where you're getting these how bad can it be videos a little bit earlier It's just something a little bit nice that I could be doing. But anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all soon